Well, good morning. I think it was in September we were here with uh, Sheriff Judd hosting us, and we put out a vision for uh, the state to maintain uh, being a law and order state. We saw really unprecedented disorder and rioting throughout the summer of 2020, and we said that's not going to happen here in the state of Florida, and we wanted to make sure that we were able to protect uh, the people of our great state, uh, people's businesses and property um, against any type of, of mob activity or violent assemblies. And so we had a bold vision. Uh, we work with uh, President Wilton Simpson and Speaker Chris Sprouse uh, to get it done. Uh, they were able to successfully do it. And so we're here today uh, being prepared now to sign that bill into law. I think it's really remarkable if you look at the breadth of this particular piece of legislation. It is the strongest anti-rioting pro-law enforcement piece of legislation in the country. And there's just nothing even close. Uh, the bill does a number of things. One, it tackles head on this idea that we've seen last summer and then we still see today uh, that there should be a movement to defund law enforcement. Now, obviously, the state of Florida, we're not going to do that under, under my leadership, but if a local government were to do that, uh, that would be catastrophic and have terrible consequences uh, for their citizens. And so this bill actually prevents against local governments defunding law enforcement. We'll be able to stop it at the state level. And if you look at some of these places that have done this, they've already seen crime go up, even just diverting some of the funding uh, to this. And so it's an insane theory. Uh, it's not going to be allowed to ever carry the day in the state of Florida. And this tool, this bill gives us the tools to make sure that that doesn't happen. It also holds local governments accountable if they fail. If we saw last summer, some of the local governments are actually telling, not necessarily in Florida, but throughout the country, basically telling these folks to stand down, telling police to stand down while cities burnt while businesses were burnt, while people were being harmed, uh, that's a dereliction of duty. And so what our bill says that I'll sign into law today is that if you're derelict in your duty as a local government, if you tell law enforcement to stand down, then you're responsible for the damage that ensues. And if someone's been harmed or their property has been destroyed, then they can sue you for compensation. We also have penalties for uh, people that commandeer highways, which we saw in other parts of the country. Just think about it. You're driving home from work, and all of a sudden you have people out there shutting down a highway, and we worked hard to make sure that didn't happen in Florida. They start to do that. There needs to be swift penalties, and that's something that just cannot happen. We also saw around the country people toppling monuments of people like George Washington. Uh, this bill protects all monuments in Florida. You have no right to go in and take down monuments. We're not going to let the mob win the day with that. The bill also includes liability for mob intimidation. If you think about it, we saw images of people just sitting outside, eating at a restaurant, and then you have this crazed mob circle around them and start screaming and really intimidating uh, I'm sorry, that's unacceptable. You're going to be held accountable. Mind your own business and leave people alone if they're not bothering you. And then finally, and probably maybe most importantly, if you riot, if you loot, if you harm others, particularly if you harm a law enforcement officer during one of these violent assemblies, you're going to jail. Uh, we're going to hold you accountable, uh, and we're not going to end up like Portland, where this is just a daily occurrence where these people are doing this, they get arrested, they have their mug shot taken, and then they get put right back on the street to do it again. So I think this bill uh, that I'll sign into law shows the state of Florida takes public safety very seriously. Uh, we believe in uh, uh, making sure that our streets are safe. Uh, we want to make sure that, that our cities are prosperous. We want to make sure folks are, are protected. And there should be no doubt, the minute I sign in this bill into law, anybody who wears the uniform in service of protecting the public, uh, should, this bill will make very clear the state of Florida stands with you. So I'm going to sign the bill in the law. Then we have so many great people who help make this happen, and we're going to allow them to come up and say a few things as well. So right here.
done. We promise and we deliver.